you know, sometimes we're too nice for our own. I, you know, I'm going to stick my foot in it now. Yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with what the best remain uh, primary European culture. The right, Statue of Liberty came from the same place I did, from the Alsace, in, in Germany, France. The man that designed and built it. This is a European culture. It's all right if you want to have some diversity, but notice they don't use the mixing pot term anymore ever. It's now the rainbow culture, as Jesse, my friend, calls it. The rainbow culture. They're not going to mix. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to become little Europeans, little Englishmen, Germans, Swedes, Italians, Russians. They don't want that. They want to be a part. Well, if that's what you want for your posterity, then go to it, baby. But I don't, and the majority of American people don't want that to happen. We'll accept them as friends, neighbors, relatives perhaps, but we don't want to change our culture. We're a Western European culture, and we kind of like it the way it is here. We don't want it to change it like it is in Brazil. If people want a Mexican culture, go to Brazil, India. If that's what you want, that's fine. But that is what you're wishing for the United States, and don't think all of us are going to sit back and say, okay, we, we'll do that. We don't want you to call us bad names. It's not going to happen, folks. There's too many people out there that feel just like this old German. We're not going to let it happen if we get any say so in it. And it's not our fault that most of the people in the world are poor. We constantly give. Look at Haiti. How much money we give to Haiti. It don't get any better. It just gets worse. What are we going to adopt all the poor countries in the world? Which, by the way, happen to be non-white countries, except for places like Japan and South Korea. But most of them can't make it. But what are we supposed to do? Time.